Hello, Richard Wakeford here again, and in today's short but hopefully informative video, I'll be sharing my top five lighting modifiers. Okay, there are a large number of modifiers out there which can change the shape, the quality, and the direction of light. And don't forget that those modifiers can have their own additional modifications to help change things like contrast and the spread of light. Things like silver or white interiors, diffusion panels and grids. And quite often there's no one single solution where you want to light a subject or scene in a particular way. Now having said all that, I've tried to narrow the list down to my own personal top five lighting modifiers. And please note they're not in order of preference. Number one, reflectors. Let's start with one of the simplest forms of light modifier, the collapsible reflector. In just two seconds, you can open up one of these and immediately have the ability to bounce light or even flag or block light. The bigger the reflector, the larger your bounce light source will become. You can buy white reflectors, silver reflectors, gold reflectors, and even all-in-one reflectors that have a few different surfaces included. Number two, umbrellas. Like reflectors, these are just so cheap and easy to carry around. If one breaks, it's no sweat to just simply replace with another. And as you can imagine, they open and close just like your average umbrella, which makes them so quick and easy. So very ideal for shoots when you need to move around quickly. You can choose between shoot through, essentially a big diffuser, or a bounce back, which is a little easier for directing the spread of light. If you go for a silver umbrella, you'll be working with hard light and strong crisp contrast, whereas a white umbrella will result in a softer light and less contrast. Number three, beauty dishes. The clue is in the title here, mostly used for beauty shots because it's a lovely diffused focused light without a hotspot, due to the way the light hits the central disc first before then bouncing back to the dish itself. From the curved design of the dish, most of the light travels forward and with a nice gentle light fall off on the sides. Again, you can choose between a white or silver interior to gain you slightly different contrast results. Beauty dishes are great for really sculpting facial features, creating nice shadows and catch lights. And if you want additional softness, you can add a diffuser sock. And if you want to focus that light even more, use a honeycomb grid. Number four, soft boxes. These are generally four-sided rectangular boxes with black exterior and white or silver interiors with optional diffuser panels and grids. They give quite a pleasing soft directional light and mimic window shaped light in the catch lights of the eyes. Strip boxes are narrow rectangular soft boxes and are just incredible for lighting the edges of your subject. Popular with fitness model shoots for example as edge lighting can really show off muscle definition. Number five, octoboxes. These are essentially a subset of soft boxes that provide a rounder spread of light and a rounder catch light by having eight sides compared to four. The bigger or nearer the light source, the softer the light. So be warned that like umbrellas, these will catch the wind very easily. So either use an assistant or consider buying some sandbags to help weight down the light stand. Deep parabolic octoboxes are worth noting as they're better at bouncing light, therefore helping to focus the light more efficiently. Bonus mentions. Reflector cups are great for using with the bare bulb, but where you don't want the light spilling absolutely everywhere. So pair these with insertable grids and you'll be able to narrow that light beam for more precise work. Snoots, and with their optional grids, are the ultimate in really narrowing the light spread and with a hard edge. So going back to what I said right at the start, there is really no one single solution. And in fact, in many of my shoots now, I'll combine various modifiers. But I remember that with all my first ever shoots, I quite happily used one shoot through umbrella and just worked around its pros and cons. 
So I recommend not to go out and buy all the modifiers, but instead to buy perhaps one, get used to it, then consider buying other ones. You might even settle with just one or two only. Thank <laughs> you.